just want to do a quick follow-up video of advancements in technology over the last 10 years. Those eight panels on the wall, the 250 watts each, they were installed in, I think it was August of 2014. The 255s, the 260s, and 265s were just coming out. I forget what I paid. I'm not going to talk about dollars, but I'm going to tell you right now. This is 10 years later. These are rated at 545 watts each. There's four panels there. It looks like eight, but there's only four. So you line up, looking right there. I've gone just a little bit past that end panel. Count four panels, 1,000 watts. And I've gone just a little bit past the fifth panel. So for just a tiny little bit more real estate, a little bit wider, a little bit longer, I have double the power. This array here is 2,180 watts. That giant array on the wall is 2,000 watts. <laughs> Do the math. And, and I paid half the price. I had these delivered in April of 2024. For I think if I remember right, I gave the, it was a thousand bucks. The guy was coming through town anyway, um, delivering some panels to BC. And he dropped them off, and I gave him a tip of fifty dollars, so a thousand fifty, if I remember right. Those were installed in 2015. There was four installed in 2014 in the top, the top row, the first four in the top row. They had to come off because it failed the um, building inspection. I paid a guy to do that. I redid the whole thing myself with permits, and I passed first time. There's seven more panels on the west side. That's my Easter ray. At this time of year, I can brew coffee at 5.30 in the morning when that lights up. These don't light up until after about 9.15, 9.20. This all starts to wake up. Well, they're already awake, but they're just not producing a whole bunch. But that thing is kicking butt first thing in the morning. Now, I'm an old guy. I get up at 6 a.m., so I'm brewing coffee. This right now is off-grid. It's charging an EcoFlow Delta Pro system with two extra batteries. So I think that works out to just under 11 kilowatts of storage. 3,600 each for the EcoFlow Delta Pro. And the two extra batteries are 3,600 watts each. And it's, it's actually running my fridge, my freezer, my 82-inch TV, my gaming PC. That's on right now. And it's running all that. Plus uh, my Marantz, my theater chairs, a lamp, a subwoofer, and my security cameras. That's all running off grid, off this, off the EcoFlow. And I'm conserving. I'm not running my mini split right now because... When I woke up this morning, I was down to 40%. And I'm trying to get that back up, the EcoFlow back up to 100%. But my house is cool because my old 14-year-old mini split, that's not a heat pump. It doesn't heat the house. It only cools. That's been there for 14 years. That's running on the grid-tied solar right now. So when the sun starts to set, and it's fucking hot today, when the sun starts to set, I'm going to switch over to this guy, and this will run all night, and I won't pull anything from the grid. Last night, I pulled 1.68 kilowatt hours from the grid. You heard that right. 1.68 kilo. That's not my record. My record was 1.66, and I might break that tonight because my border had to take off to take care of some business for a sister who's in a long-term care home. Yeah, technology, man. Double the power for a tiny little bit more real estate and half the price 10 years later. I wish I wasn't 64 already. I'd love to see what this shit's going to look like in 2030, 2035.